Hi, I'm Chilton Webb, and in this video I'm going to show you some really cool new stuff in Glycon, but I want you to stick around to the very end because this is a very different video than what I've usually shot, and I'll explain why in just a minute. So, this is the new version of Glycon. We have some, uh, if you're not familiar with it, this is a motion capture platform for your Oculus Rift or HTC Vive or Windows Mixed Reality headset. It basically lets you record motion capture using your VR rig and then translate that into something that you can export for game engines like Unity, Unreal, uh, or any kind of cutscene cinematic uh, for 3D programs or basically anything that takes uh, BVH or FBX animations. Okay, so the way it works is really simple. You put on your headset, you put on your hand controllers, and you basically start acting, right? Um, the controls are over here, they, the expl explanation's over here. It lets you sit, switch between a live and edit mode, and when you're in live mode, you can record, and then when you're back in edit mode, you can export your animations. You can export the animations, you can enhance them for Unreal Engine 4, uh, or you can also export virtual sets, a virtual set is a thing that you can create that you can interact with and uh, basically say, oh, okay, this is my computer or whatever. And then when you export the set in your game, you would take that same set, and you'd swap it out for your high res model in your game or your animation or whatever, and it's gonna look fantastic. And your animation will fit perfectly along with the virtual set. Uh, we have trackers. If you have an HTC Vive and a bunch of trackers, you can create a really, really high res uh, motion capture from that. Uh, and very soon you'll be able to mix those uh, those Vive trackers with your Oculus Rift, and I'll show you how to do that very soon, as soon as I finish up a video uh, tutorial on that. Uh, you can also bring in your own props. We don't have it in this version that I'm using right now, but the version that's gonna about to come out has uh, the ability to import props, and that's pretty cool. Uh, but in this new version, we've got this one cool new feature, which is the new IK. Uh, all of the IK system is now exposed. So basically, you can go in here and you can say, uh, click on the torso, and you can say, I wanna set uh, neck stiffness, uh, so that the neck affects the body a little more, right? Um, I want to maybe I want to set the the chest to hand rotation a little more so that I can draw a bow back, right? Uh, or maybe I want to set it less so that um, I don't telegraph my punches. Who knows? Um, very soon uh, we'll have another section up here that lets you set more hand uh, hand gestures. Currently there are four. They're attached to the joysticks on the controllers. And all of this is going to be exposed also. So in this next version, we have a very, in, a very elaborate inverse kinematic system that lets you basically tweak all kinds of stuff that you could not tweak before. Uh, that is, it's going to let you create very much more customized uh, animations based on what you what you uh, what you want. So um, that's really cool. It's a new version coming out here pretty soon. Um, the, the Oculus Rift version is, uh, the Oculus Rift and the HTC Vive version and the Windows Mixed Reality, those are all coming out uh, as soon as I make this next build. The Quest version is almost ready. I'll have more details on that, but I want to show you something really cool here, and that is this entire video was shot on a Quest in the back of my car. Um, this animation, this, this whole thing, all of these, uh, everything you're seeing here is being recorded basically in the back of my car. That's the beauty of having a completely wireless headset that you can take with you anywhere. All it takes is uh, the hand controllers and the wireless headset. You put it on, slap a button, and you're good. So uh, for more information, go to liberty3d.com slash glycon or go to Facebook at, and meet us on Facebook at facebook.com slash glyconvr. I will see you guys later. Thanks.